what did you kind of guys kind of learn about the team from those? Yeah, I, I think for us, anytime uh, a group is starting preseason, it's it's a new group uh, where you're integrating new players, and so you're trying to implement and build on, on your system and, and your organization, right? And so we look at it as a, a process uh, where we're trying to build layers to our game while also trying to get a look at the new, the new guys and how they might fit in. And then probably the other piece is just developing relationships um, amongst teammates because, you know, knowing what movements other guys are going to make, forming relationships on the field, forming relationships off the field. Um, and building our culture is something that's that's been really important to us and has been a staple of our success uh, so far. And so, you know, that's that's what we're looking for. We're, we're never going to be uh, the finished product or be playing our best soccer uh, two weeks into the season, a week and a half into the season. But we're we're looking for continued growth throughout the the preseason and are OK with making some mistakes. Um, you know, ultimately to try to prepare us to be ready for, for the regular season, right, which is, is upon us. So um, it's been really positive for us. I, I think we've seen a lot of growth um, day by day, week by week, and now, you know, we'll get a chance to implement it uh, for real this weekend. I guess is how, how are the newcomers kind of blended in with, with the uh, people who are here in the past? Yeah, I, I think for us, um, this has been one of the biggest differences and advantages uh, for this fall versus last fall is we, we have a set of returners um, and, and kind of our, our, operation, our operations, our process of how we train, how we lift, how we, how we travel, how we do everything where um, it's been really nice versus last year, you know, coming in and, and our staff was still trying to get used to and get an idea on everybody on our team. Um, and equally, the guys getting used to us as a staff and, and how we operate and our expectations and, and what we're looking for. And so now that we've had a full year uh, together as a team, as a staff, um, it's made the transition a lot more seamless. In, in terms of the newcomers, I, I think you know, everybody probably comes in at a little different speeds. Um, some of the the transfers are, are going to be a little bit more used to the college game and the speed of play and things like that. So for them, it may be a little bit more getting them on the same page in terms of, of tactically within our game model of what we're trying to do uh, for, for the freshmen coming in. Um, you know, maybe the first couple of days, it's deer in the headlights, uh, just getting used to everything. And now that school started as well, I mean, it's it's a whole new life. Um, and so I have to remember sometimes, I go through this every year, but they're going through it for the first time. So we expect there to be an adjustment process there. Um, but everybody we brought in um, has picked up the speed. I, I, I'd i like to believe the, the overall level of play has improved. We've become a lot deeper. And I, I think some of the new guys are really gonna be able to help us uh, push forward as a group this year. Coach Dolly, what did you kind of learn in your first season here? Whew, a, a lot, right? Yeah, I, I think the the biggest challenge for us last year was kind of just the timing of it all, right? I, I, my first day was July 6th last year, and so you're trying to, to put together a staff, you're trying to get a good feel for, for the team, you're trying to figure out what's the best way to play. Um, and, and so, I think what we learned through it all is we learned a lot about our individuals within our team. We learned a lot about our group and what we need to be successful. Um, some of those are tough lessons, right? And, and, and adversity, I, I think, is where the most growth happened. And, you know, the thing I, I really liked about our group last year is we did show continued growth throughout the year where we were playing I thought some really good stuff um, towards the end of the year. I mean, defensively, we gave up two goals in conference play, which is really good after a tough week uh, in the middle of September last year with Creighton and UTRGV. I think we cleaned some stuff up. And so, you know, now there's just a little bit more familiarity um, in terms of what we're doing. The guys know what to expect. We know what to expect. Um, and it's making sure we get back to those habits 
that have have allowed us to have some success, right? And continuing to build on that day by day. So now we can hopefully take another step forward as a program. As a, as a player, what was, how has this off season kind of been different than last I, season when I mean, the, the, the coaching changed late and everything? You know? Yeah, I think the last year was like, of course for them was new, for us was new as well. When you have a new staff coach, you want to like show up, all the players want to show up, but we didn't know at the beginning how we want to play what taxi we're going to use, what style of player we're going to use on the field. I think this year we actually know what we're going to play, what things we're going to do. And as an old guy, we're trying to tell them to the new guys, let them know how the culture is here on the team, how we want to play, what things they can know. And I think the new guys are fitting good on the team. They know that they can ask to the old guys whatever they want to ask. They know that we can have communication inside and outside of the field. So I think that's pretty good for, for this year. It's going to be good for us. Coach mentioned uh, you only gave up like two goals after that week where you played Creighton and went down to your charity. Yeah, I guess, what do you guys feel like some of the strengths of the, the this team is are going to be? Well, I think we're not trying to change as much as we try to play. We're trying to change some stuff, but the culture and the base of the team is going to be the same. We're trying to teach the new guys how we play. After Creighton, after your charity, it was like like make a step between how we were playing before and how we're going to play now. Uh, I think it's really good for us now that we know the coaches, we know the new guys. We have two weeks before that we train. Um, I think we're prepared for these two weeks and start the, race, the season with the right foot. Yeah, I, think, I think for me a big thing um, on our roster this year, we have 20 upperclassmen on our roster, juniors or seniors, and what a what a difference that can make in terms of the internal leadership within the locker room, in terms of bringing the new guys on board and, and helping them integrate quickly. We actually have experience this year, um, whereas last year, I, I don't think you could say the same. We only had very, we had very few guys with division one experience um, on the team. And so um, that's been a really nice uh, change of pace. I, I, I haven't really had to coach effort in training maybe once or twice, right? But it's the, the expectation and the standards are, are kind of there, right? And everybody knows what we're trying to do, the, the level at which we need to do it. And so, you know, I'm hoping the experience, I think we've seen it so far through preseason a little bit where our, our experience has come um, – to light, right? And, and we've been able to find games to find ways to win games, uh, find ways where maybe maybe we're down in games or maybe we give up, you know, an equalizer or whatever to, to have the maturity to, to come through. And that's it's a big, big difference uh, in terms of college athletics when you can have talent organization mixed with experience. Uh, I think that's a recipe for success. And so I'm, I'm excited about that. Doesn't mean anybody's going to give us anything, right? We're, we're still going to have to earn it every step of the way. But, you know, it's it's really nice as a staff. I think there's a, a trust built uh, between the staff and the players, the players and the staff. And, and we're on the same page in terms of the direction we want to go and, and where we're headed. And so it makes it makes our working environment a lot easier when everybody's on the same page and is, is bought into you know, where our North Star and where we're trying to get to. And so that's that's been really nice for us uh, this year. Uh, Coach, your two uh, returning goalkeepers were each ranked as to, uh, a couple of the top upperclassmen goalkeepers in the country. Can you just kind of talk about your, your veterans back in the day? Yeah, I mean, it's it, it, we, we say this is iron sharpens iron. Uh, I think any time you can create an environment where you have internal competition for spots, it's it's going to be – uh, it, it's going to make everybody better. Um, Nata and Lute are really funny. They they compete, they compete like no other on the field, but they're inseparable off the field, right? They're they're best friends and they they love each other. And so I, I think that's a really unique um, bond between those two, where there's there's a mutual respect. And I, I think we're going to need to rely on on both of them, and we needed to last year. I think it's um, good for us knowing. Hey, if one of them picks up an injury or, or one of them's, you know, 
not in form, whatever, that, that we have another really good option um, there. And equally as well, we brought in a transfer goalkeeper who I think's fit in uh, pretty well also. And so we want to build a, a group and a team that's as deep as possible where there's internal competition uh, for spots because I think anytime when you can get the training environment that it's as or more difficult than any game environment, th then you're going to have success. And it's no different than... Then in the back, I think both those guys are leaders for us. Um, they both have different personalities, but unique experiences. Lute is like in his 15th year in college. And so he's, you know, he's been around and um, he's got a, a really good maturity about him uh, where he can, he knows when to, to get into the group and, and raise and he knows when to calm the group, right? And, and not panic. And I, I think that's very good and, and not to us. Um, been a returning captain and, and had a really good summer this year uh, in USL2, uh, played some really good stuff. And so we're going to continue to have that, that competition within the goal. And I, I think anytime, like I said, you can have that, it's a rising tide lifts all boats um, and it's, it's going to help us moving forward. Do you see that competition being something that's continuous kind of throughout the season or do you hope to... Yeah, it, it'll be interesting um, how it plays out. You know, it's funny, last year, um, Lute picked up a little knock during preseason that knocked him out uh, of the last preseason match and ultimately the beginning of the season. And, and we felt like we, we were having some success and some continuity with, with Nata. And, and Lute, you know, was training really well on his heels. And um, we decided to give him an opportunity, and he did really well with it. Um, this year, Nata picked up a little injury uh, within preseason, and so it's allowed Lute to, to get some matches in. Um, ideally, if they're both playing really well, we're going to find a way to get them both on the field. Um, you know, ultimately, if one is, is stepping up and we feel like one gives us a distinct better chance to win, then we'll, we'll have to make that decision as a, as a group. But look, you know, Georgetown uh, won the national championship in, in 2019, uh, and they switched goalkeepers every single game. Uh, they had a freshman goalkeeper and an older goalkeeper. So, you know, I know it can be done as long as it goes in with, with the right mentality. And um, it also gives the opponents uh, a little bit of a guessing game in terms of who we're going to have in because they're both different styles of goalkeepers, which, you know, provide us, I think, different, different strengths uh, back there. Just the way Friday's game kind of played out. Yeah. Where uh, you give up a couple of goals to tie it and then you score in the last minute to win it. I mean, did something like that really help you going forward? I mean, help you go forward to, to know that you guys can kind of pull out a match like that? Yeah. And, I, and you give up a lead and still come back and win? I, I, think, that, I think that showed our. Um, you know, our, our maturity in the moment. You know, I don't think we were, and we talked about it as a group, I don't think we were very good the first 20 minutes coming out of the second half and, um, you know, gave up uh, probably some sloppy goals uh, against us. And, and to be fair, Iowa Western did a, a really good job of exploiting us. Um, but we were able to keep our composure and get a hold back of the match, which was really good. Um, and we, we purposely, that's, that's what we think preseason's for, is we put on at halftime, we put a freshman center back on. That was his first college minutes because he was, he was injured uh, the first half. We didn't have Kyle Reese, who's a senior, very good player. He didn't play in the match. And so, it, you know, putting some of those guys who maybe haven't been in our starting 11 week in, week out in the pressure cooker a little bit, it, that's where growth happens. Um, and you saw with our, our right-sided center back Gage, who's a freshman, he, you know, maybe the first 20 minutes, it's, it's moving a bit quick and, you know, there's a little bit of panic, but then he calmed down a little bit um, and really settled into the game very nicely. And it's those growing opportunities that you cannot replicate. Um, I thought the, the environment from the fans and the speed at which Iowa Western plays, like that, that felt like a real a real match, which is a great growth moment for us because, look, we're not always going to be up. There's some times where we may concede or we may have to play from down or, or whatever that is. And I think the great teams, um, 
in college soccer, they find ways to win games. Um, and it was good for us to be patient and we talk about it of we don't have to force the issue. It, it'll come if we keep if we keep moving the ball, we keep probing, like eventually the space is going to open up because we'll tire them out. And it took us till yeah, 15 seconds left in the match. But um, it, it was a great learning lesson for us on many factors. One, to how to come back and face a little adversity. And two, maybe to, uh, you know, not, not fall asleep at halftime mm -hmm. uh, a little bit and put it away a bit sooner. But um, ultimately, that's what we're trying to get out of those games. And I thought both preseason games were – both unique, but both extremely beneficial to us as ultimately we're prepared uh, for the regular season this week. Got to ask about two local freshmen. How Brett and Carson, how have you seen them kind of just get adjusted to the college? Level? Yeah, for, for sure. I mean, I, we, we think both those guys have really, really bright futures with us. Um, I think the biggest adjustment, and they'll be the first ones to tell you, is the speed of play at which you have to play at and the demand it takes to play both sides of the ball. I think there's some things you can probably get away with and whether it's high school or club, um, because there's more time and space, because maybe you're the best, you're, you're the biggest fish in a small pond, right? You're coming into a new environment. And so there's gonna be an acclimation process for those guys. And we've, you know, I had individual meetings with those guys last week and, and you know, want them to understand and and they've done a great job in understanding that it's all a part of the process it's never a, a linear path where it just keeps going there's going to be ups and downs throughout these the first year you know maybe the first couple years and and so I think you've seen that in some of our older guys who maybe have struggled their first year with us who are now hitting the ground running and so we, we think both those guys have a really, really bright future, um, both ahead and for sure for us this year. Um, but ultimately, they're getting used to the speed of play, the demands it takes to play at the college game. They've had really, really good attitudes. One thing we tell them early on when they come in is just focus on being the best teammate you can be. If you can be the best teammate you can be, the, the soccer side will take care of itself. And I think they've, they've done a good job of sticking to that. And you know I think they'll continue to grow a lot this year.